Transit Authority is putting out a warning tonight after a ski bus crashes into an illegally parked car. New specialist Michael Locklear talked exclusively to a woman on that bus about the scary moment and the frustration. Michael? Skiers eager to hit the slopes were here waiting for the bus. They hopped on it, heading up Big Cottonwood Canyon. But when they got up to that S-curve, a scary situation. They slammed into a car parked too far into the road. Me and some friends just wanted to go ski. We can all struggle with parking in tight spaces and dicey places. Elsie Johnson wants people to know what can happen when you do a poor job on a canyon road. It was just loud. It was just really loud and plastic and glass breaking and scraping for a good couple seconds. Elsie was on the UTA ski bus on Saturday when it scraped the side of a parked car. Kind of scary, but no one was hurt, luckily. The S-curve in Big Cottonwood Canyon. The car was parked like right on the curve in a very dangerous spot, first of all, and then they were also over the line. On a busy day, especially on a weekend day, it's tight up there. Carl Arkey with UTA says the buses are eight and a half feet wide. Tough to maneuver on those narrow canyon roads. The cars were parked illegally. They were over that white line and there wasn't enough room for the bus to get by and not enough room for him to move over into the oncoming lane and veer over there because there's just so much traffic up there on a weekend. I felt really bad for the bus driver. Frustrated too. Elsie and everyone else on the bus missed a couple of hours on the slopes. But... Still got to ski, and it was still a great day. UTA knows parking is tough with snow piled high, but says double check to give their buses room. If you park further out into the road, you're just asking for trouble. I think this is just a really good reminder to park legally up the canyon and to make sure you stay far away from that white line in the road. The driver of that parked car had full mirror back, but obviously that wasn't enough. UTA says the driver and their insurance will be on the hook for repairing the bus. Live in Big Cottonwood Canyon, Michael Locklear, KSL 5 News. All right, tough lesson to learn, Michael, but one that hopefully the rest of us can learn from. Thanks.